Hello, America. I'm just a man. Approved? I'm also certified and fuck around and find out. And I figured, because I'm so approved and so certified as a man, I should probably be testing all these Chinese companies that keep coming out because the more they keep coming out, the more you guys keep buying them. Banggood, AliExpress, Timu, all these other places. And I realized that there's no legitimate tester out there actually putting these things through the ringer. And I figured, why not take a professional fuck around and find out guy and do it properly? What's up guys? Good to have you back. Uh, I got another tool in, purchased with my own money from Timu. And my objective is to cut as many tools out that I have as I can with just attachments to drills because so far I've used a grinder and a chainsaw and both of them have actually worked very, very well. Surprisingly well, honestly. And so, to keep up with how things are going with the drill attachments, I decided to purchase the reciprocating saw from Timu. I'm hoping that this one is just as impressive as the other two that I tested. They were very simple, but they worked great. And this, I'm hoping, does the same thing. So what we're aiming to do is replace tools that I would necessarily have to bring with me that are huge and large. To give you an example. Depending on how portable I have to be for my motorcycle stuff, sometimes I have to cut exhaust, sometimes I'm out in the lawn, the yard doing things, drywall, whatever. I have to have something like this. That's not including the battery pack, which is currently on this drill. This is, this is massive. I don't want to have to carry this thing with me, right? That's huge. Let's step it up a notch here. <sighs> Milwaukee life. I don't know about you, but I certainly don't want to have to cart this big sucker around, right? This thing is huge. Look at this. Ugh. You know, that's ridiculous. I don't, this thing's heavy. It's a brick. You know, for some jobs, it might require something that is this sturdy, but for most of the stuff I do, I don't need this. This is huge. And then I got to run the cord and the cable, all this is just annoying. It's annoying. It's definitely annoying. I'm trying to alleviate, oops, I got this thing all stuck in here now. There we go. I'm trying to alleviate having that many tools. I just need something simple. Ugh. That's going to get the job done. That doesn't weigh very much. <laughs> this and this. That's all I want. I just, I just want something simple that I can just, oh look, oh how cool is that? And then tighten it down. And boom, reciprocating saw. The question is though, how good does it do? Does it work? Does it not? We're going to find that out today. There's a couple pieces of wood I want to cut. I would think people would probably be using this for exhaust, rebar, drywall, wood, construction, carpentry, all those kinds of things. Alrighty guys, I have the basic tools out here that I think I'm going to need, um, as well as a grinder. Uh, this is the grinder wheel that I actually tested on the channel not too long ago. What I actually wanted to do was make this piece shorter, this piece of wood shorter, so that I could make this a portable setup, a uh, portable grinder setup. So I actually need to cut the end of this off. Could I do this with a skill saw? Yes, but I figure this is a great test for this thing. So let's, uh, let's prop my leg up there, and we'll see if this thing can saw through this thing like butter. I'm just going to choose the end here. We'll get this kicked off and see how it does. Let me put some extra weight on this, and... Uh, Get the, get the bit started here. See, we have a little tiny, that's the problem with this kind of plywood stuff. It just, it doesn't do very good. It peels and then it stops it. actually cutting better than I thought it was going to. Readjust the piece of wood. Yeah, you know, surprisingly for being just the cheap Timu dull blade that it came with, this thing is actually cutting pretty good. 
Um, I, I'm putting pressure down. Bear in mind, guys, I'm putting pressure down. It took me a second to figure out how this thing works the best, but now I've got it. I understand what it wants. It wants downward pressure on this, and then this is the steering head. So I, it took me a little second to figure out how good this was going to work um, without fighting itself, but now that I've got it, we're good. And remember, you could put a much sharper blade on here. I am intentionally testing the Timu blades that came on this thing. So. Crazy. That actually worked really smoothly once I figured out how the head liked to be moved around the best. Looks like a very clean cut. You guys can see that. Very, very clean cut. Yeah. Hmm. Well done. All right. My portable grinder is now a portable grinder. Let's step this up a little bit and try some PVC pipe. We're going to escalate the situation. This is what a plumber would use. Somebody doing some plumbing jobs. Let me go grab the rest of the tips that came with this because this came with uh, metal tip, uh, copper cutting tip, a whole bunch of stuff. So let me go grab the different tips. We'll change out a tip and then we'll try some PVC. Alrighty, so came with two other blades. Uh, you can tell one is very vicious. I did not use that one. That would be for like drywall, quick cut drywall. Um, and then as you can see, we have a metal copper uh, PVC one. I know you guys can't probably see that very well, but there's just very small teeth on it. I don't know why this is choosing not to focus on this. Whatever. Anyways, that's the one we're going to be popping on there. So we're going to drop that one right there. It comes with all three of these. One's for cutting wood, one them, one's for drywall, one's for everything. And all you really have to do, guys, is just twist this one way. I need to figure out, there we go. And that just pops right out. And then you pop this one right on. Just like that. Release it, and you're good to go. That's simple. So, let's see if we can chop through this uh, PVC pipe with haste. I think this will be interesting to see. Yeah, this should be very easy. So I chose to put it down this time because I'm going to be pushing down. Could I do it the other way? Yes. Could I turn it around and do it that way? Yes. But for this, I want downward pressure, so that's what we're going to do. I want to cut it right here. We're just going to drop the blade on it and let her go. I gotta hold this a little tighter here. <laughs> yeah. So as long as you can hold it nice and tight, it works good. So, boom. Yeah, it sliced right through that pretty easily once again. Didn't take much, did it? Did not take much. Hi. All right, let's go see if I have a piece of copper anywhere. Let's, let's up the ante. All right, guys, let's escalate it some more. I've got a piece of chopped copper. So far. Ah, for two. Chopping pretty good, so no matter what I put through it. Ah, I just wish that I had a little better system for holding this stuff, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's cut through here. Get my leg as close as I can. There we go. See if we can get a good solid cut on this one. <laughs> you really gotta have a good way to hold these. seen so does it work yes and cut through it as you can see that took quite a bit of energy to get through that um, and that's because that metal blade is garbage I could just tell the moment I started cutting on it I was like this is not gonna work good for PVC but not good for copper steel or any of the above so yeah that uh, that took quite a bit to get through there um, 
honestly. I took a lot of work to get through that, so. That is a very crappy, not good blade that they have provided. So my suggestion, guys, if you do get this, I would just get better blades. Same thing I said with the chainsaw. These are not very good blades. These are pretty basic blades. There's not much to these. They're not very good. Let's just say that. They're not very good. But I did manage to cut through the copper, through the wood, and through the PVC. The piece of wood was easy. The uh, PVC was easy. The copper, definitely, I would suggest getting a much better blade because that was not not good. No. Not good. That took a lot of energy to get through that. So I think that's good for our basic testing here. Um, outside of drywall, which I already know it's going to cut through. If it made it through that wood, it'll easily tap drywall. So I'm not even concerned about that. Um, but upping the game at this point without putting better heads on it, which I don't plan on doing. I don't want to destroy uh, any better heads right now that I don't need. Figured I would use the Timu blades that came with it to give it a good proper test. But outside of that, um, I would say, I would say get a, a few blade upgrades if you're going to be doing this. Blades are cheap enough, just get some blade upgrades. It looks like it takes standard, standard blades for Sawzall, so it doesn't, these aren't special by any means, they're just cheap blades that came from China. Get yourself some better blades, I think this thing will work good. Alright guys, um, overall I'd say it does pretty good. If you were just using this for pretty basic stuff, I would say overall it does pretty darn good. Um, cut through that wood with no problem, cut through the PVC no problem, copper, like I said, we had a little issue, but I think that's going to come back to blade and how I've, how I've mounted it. I'm trying to use a saw horse that wasn't really designed for this type of activity without having clamps on it. So anyways, a lot of that could be my fault. If I had put that in a vise, it would have cut right through it easily because the vise would have held it in place. And But uh, yeah, as you can see, it was transferring a lot of the power and energy to my arms and the table. You know, it was like, okay, this blade is not very good. If it was a little sharper, I think it would have just gone right through. So, anyways, guys, that's my test. I think it's good for what it is. Once again, I mean, we're talking about a, a, a $6 attachment that goes on your drill. It's doing basic work around your house and, and simple jobs. That's, that's what this is for. I don't suggest this for industrial, professional use in any kind of way unless you really wanted to have it as backup or something like that. But for the average person... Probably a pretty good little setup. Do I feel like I could get rid of my <laughs> reciprocating Ryobi saw battery powered? Probably not. Not yet. I think this is good for basic jobs. But um, So if I just needed to go cut some scooter exhaust off or something, I would get a better blade. My drill is always with me, so if I don't have to bring my sawzall as an extra tool, I'd rather do that. Because you guys know I just work on motorcycles all day, and this is what I do. So I'm trying to find tools that fit my needs for the things that I do and then show you how they work. So, all right guys, catch you on the flip. Hopefully that helped. Don't forget to drop a subscription, like, all that good stuff. Leave a comment, show me some love and support. I buy these products with my money. It doesn't come from anywhere else. Catch you guys on the flip. Toodles.